in the heart of the Canadian woods, an army of lumberjacks shoot the dangerous rapids of the Saint Maurice on their way to start the greatest log drive in history. For 300 miles, the old rivers choke with timber. Timber for the pulp and paper mills. Timber to be converted into chlorine, emulsions, and TNT for war. Dynamiters plant the charges that will free the jam. Start it on its way downstream. For a jam allowed to pile up will often change the course of the river, leaving the logs high and dry. The fuse sputters. Better hurry up, Mr. Lumberjack, and don't waste any time finding a safe spot. That blast is ready to go. And there they come, a sea of timber. 48 million logs of spruce and chuck pine. The specially built steel bottom alligator boat plows through the floating forest. The man in the bow poling to clear the way. At the sorting gap, lumberjacks separate logs bearing the trademark or stamp of each individual owner. Then up the giant conveyor belt, they travel to the mill. Stripped of bark and washed clean as a whistle, they're now cut to size. And there they go, shot through the air like torpedoes to make the world's greatest stockpile of logs for war.